What is up? Thanks for tuning back into Barbecue It. I'm your host, Craig Kimberly. And finally, after a year from the last big lump test, it's go time. That's right, this is a video a year in the making. We just hit 500,000 views on the first six-way lump charcoal test video. We just hit 21,000 subscribers, which is also massive. And now it's time to get down to more charcoal testing. Now, I've got eight brands here. We're gonna do four against four. And then we're gonna take the top two from the first video, the second video, and the third video, and put them in a final showdown for the top six lump charcoal tests of all time, or at least on Barbecue It. Let's get cracking. Okay, so out of the eight brands, we can only test four, so we're gonna do a drawing to pick who goes against who for the first test. United States, we have Blues Hog, one of the most popular on the planet. Canada, nature's own. Also from the United States, hum uh, Wicked Good Charcoal. Humphreys Charcoal from the United States. Lumberjacks from Europe. Kamado Joe, Argentina. Fogo, El Salvador, and Jealous Devil from Paraguay. So basically those are the countries where these are from. And they're all lump hardwood charcoals. This is a beautiful thing about barbecue, is they all probably taste really good. Now if you're new to lump hardwood charcoal, watch the first video, which will be in the description, and I'll pop it up at the end as well. And then I'll kind of give you a little breakdown of what lump is. And then you can also see the first six brands that we tested. All right, so let's get this thing popping, all right? I'm gonna pick four names for video two and video three. All right. Randomly, let's see. We'll put these into two batches. In the first batch, we have Humphreys, United States. In the second batch, we will put, oh, well, second choice is Blues Hog. And the third choice in the first batch is Jealous Devil. Oh, that's already a good showdown. All right, and the last one for video two will be, who's going up against? El Salvador, it's Fogo. So we got Fogo, Jealous Devil, Blues Hog, and Humphreys. That is a championship battle. And the third video will be the ones that are left, which are Nature's Own, Kamado Joe, Wicked Good, and Lumberjack. All right, so there we go. First video coming up. Let's get set up for Humphreys, Jealous Devil, Blues Hog, and Fogo. And here's what the tail of the tape looks like. Tennessee against Paraguay, against El Salvador, against Pennsylvania. That's right, that's where they're from. That's where the wood's from, at least. Some of these companies are also based in the United States. But anyways, let's get cracking. Oh, by the way, did you see my Meat Mafia shirt from my boy Scott McDonald? Got Nebs, SCA, KCBS. It's all on there, get yours. Uh, uh, Sticks and Stones Barbecue. Find them on Facebook. I'll put the links in the description down there. Facebook, they got a barbecue team, really cool guys. All right, well, what's gonna go first? I'll tell you what, I wanna go Blues Hog first because I'm very excited, but I'm interested to see what's in the bag. How does it look? How long does it burn? Does it smell good? You know, I can tell you that too. Let's bust these bags open. <laughs> what? What? Back to tape up, back to tape up. You'll never see that happen seven more times. That was a miracle. All right, so here we go, Blues Hog. What's in the bag? Now, usually from the top, they usually top loaded a little bit, let's see. There we go, Blues Hog. All right, that looks pretty darn consistent all the way through. Lots of manageable pieces. There's a, a little bit larger piece, not a big deal. Oops, forgot my gloves. Too little, too late. Anyways, yeah, pretty good. This is very consistent and there's not tons of marbles at the end. I mean, there's, very, there's a little bit of small pieces, but with transport, that is absolutely expected to happen. Not really giving off any smell, but I like it. Real consistent, real consistent. Let's measure out a pound. What I'm looking for is, you know, decent sized pieces, everything that can fit in a chimney. I'm using small chimneys, so stuff that can fit in there, which is kind of the average size pieces of really good lump charcoal. So you can see it's 
not difficult to find. There we go. These little chimneys are great because they show you really close to that basically you can fit a pound in these. All right, blues hog done. Let's get on to Jealous Devil. I forgot how much work it takes in between all the cleanup. Okay, this is gonna be the easiest bag I've ever opened. Boom, it's a Ziploc. What's inside Jealous Devil? It's very exciting. Get that out of the way. Jealous Devil, here we go. What do we see? Definitely some good size chunks. A um, Little bit more on the Kamado and using your Humphrey smoker side. Big pieces like that. Um, lots of medium pieces. It doesn't take up nearly as much room as the Blues Hog did, so volume wise, it seems to be a lot less. All right, let's get our scale over here. Zero that puppy out. And let's get some charcoal in there. That piece is heavy. Fifth size pieces. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna, that's one pound. I gotta break a chunk off of that. Here we go. Because look at that. This won't even barely stick. This, this is dense though. This is, it speaks to their type of wood. I mean, there it is. <laughs> that's it. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> two for two. Two, two, two for two. <laughs> Call Guinness Book. Two for two. That is a. Uh, I mean, there's clearly some hefty chunks. Lots of medium size. Again, looks pretty consistent. Let's get our pound and let's get after it. This has some good weight to it. So close. There we go. There's our pound of Humphreys. One pound tops off the chimney, Humphreys. Chimney number three. Are you ready for this? Boom. Did it. <laughs> there you go. Three for three. Three for three. That's right, world record. Okay, premium lump charcoal by Fogo. Oh. Oh. Oops. Lost four good looking pieces there. All right, sorry about that. Now this is 17.6 pounds, but it looks similar to the amount that was in the uh, Jealous Devil's 20 pound. Um, extremely consistent, extremely consistent medium to small pieces. Lots of these, you know, a little, little bit of dust and stuff at the bottom, but that's it at the bottom of everyone as we know. And let's get us a pound in here. Look at that, doesn't even, doesn't even come to the top of the chimney. Doesn't even come to the top, so there you go, Fogo showing the lowest. That's interesting, I think a Jealous Devil, actually Fogo looks lower than the Jealous Devil one. Let's, let's go put these over here and review. Blues Hog. Jealous Devil, Humphreys, and Fogo. Fogo leaving the most room. <laughs> okay, now we are set up. Barbecue Stadium back in action. All right, here we go. Finally, let's get the first four going. Blues Hog, Jealous Devil, Humphreys, Fogo. Let's get these lit. Everybody's lit. Now we are officially in the test at this point. So we're gonna be seeing, of course, in real time, you know, what smokes a lot, what, what stops smoking first, 
And of course, once they get to, once they're basically lit, I let them rock. I let them keep going and then we'll dump them. And then with the old, with the old laser here, we'll just check the temp, but they all tend to burn very hot. But this will help us in the end when basically we'll be seeing which one is still putting off heat an hour and change into it. And uh, that worked out very well the first time. So let's see how it goes this time. All right, it's time to sit back and watch the cameras. Maybe have a beer. <coughs> All right, so out of these four, that popping and the noise is coming from the Humphreys. It's coming from the Humphreys. Everybody else is relatively quiet and burning. Kind of give you a direct overhead here. What's going on? We are only four minutes in, folks, four minutes in. Let's take a closer look at the types of wood in these bags and what I paid for them. 20 pound bag of Blues Hog. The wood is sourced out of Missouri. It claims lump oak, hickory, and maple. I paid $22.68 for my bag from Ace Hardware, and you can get it also from their website for $26.99. 20 pound bag of Jealous Devil. This charcoal was made from wood out of Paraguay called Cabraco or Cabraco Blanco. Cabraco translates also to axe breaker. And I paid $22.67 in the off season on acehardware.com. And Jealous D sells it for $31 on their website right now. 20 pound bag of Humphrey coming out of Pennsylvania, a company that claims to have been around since the early 1900s. I cannot find any source of their wood or where it's from. I paid $34.99 for my bag, and that's what they sell it on their website for. And Fogo, a 17.6 pound bag, wood hailing out of El Salvador. They claim to be using oak, but you can also find some products that have eucalyptus as well as cabraco. I paid $19.99 at Ace, and that's also what they sell it on their website for. Now, of course, I wouldn't recommend putting your bag of coals right underneath where you're lighting them, ever. I'm just doing that because, of course, so you can see what is in what chimney a little bit better than the first time as far as visualization goes. All right, we're 10 minutes in. I'm just going to give these all a shake like you normally would. Just to make sure things are uh, working their way through. And already we're seeing flame from only one of them. That Humphreys, but man, is it spitting up a storm. Fogo, Humphreys, about those spark the yard on fire. Jealous Devil and Blues Hog. As you can see, they all were lit the same, same amount of airflow. There's tons of air in these wells. But I gotta tell you, man, whatever that lump hardwood is, it is burning away fast. Look at that, very impressive. So if it wasn't for the Humphrey charcoal, this would be a very quiet test. 15 minutes in, and Humphreys is getting close to flipping. I want there to be some black left, but a lot of char, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of grayed over coals. I want there to be some gray coals, but a little bit of black left as well. As you can see, the Blues Hog burning really well, glowing. Um, same with the uh, Jealous Devil. Not as much content in there, but looking pretty good. Humphreys, as you can see, is disappearing. It's almost gone. And Fogo, burning nice and smooth and level. So that's what those four look like right now at about 22 minutes in. So probably at 25, I'm dumping. Okay, so we've hit the 25 minute mark and this is where I'm gonna dump. And this is where you're gonna see where they're at at 25 minutes. And this, you should be ready to cook right now. All right, let's go with the Fogo first. See what pile we get. <laughs> See what's left of the Humphreys. There goes the Jealous Devil. The Blues Hog left. So this is going to burn. Woo. Even the handle's hotter than the other ones. That's going to burn for a long time. I learn something every time I make a video. And in this video I learned, don't put a plastic clock in front of a couple thousand degrees of hot coals. Bad idea. So here we are, we are one hour and six minutes in, and I want you to see 836 on the Blues Hog. Next, 797 on the Jealous Devil. One piece on the Humphreys reads 878, the other piece 422. Wow. 
And of course, 7, 747. All right, heat wise, 837. Heat wise, 791. Heat wise, 839. All right, so right now, Blue's Hog is burning the hottest and looks like it has the most content. Fogo's coming in second with tons of content. Then back to Jealous Devil and then to the Humphreys. I think we know how this one's turning out so far. Pretty damn cool though. So here we are, hour and a half in. Fogo, Humphreys, Jealous Devil, Blues Hog. Blues Hog still taking the lead. Fogo in second, Jealous in third, Humphreys in fourth. And here we have it. Two hours and 15 minutes in. So this is already way longer than our first test. And this is what we're working with. Let's see if we can get some temp readings. Getting 795, 667, 700, close to 700 on the Fogo, 100 on the uh, Humphreys. Getting a 566, getting a 643, getting a 533, 686 from the Red Do uh, for the Jealous Devil. Blues Hog has cooled down at 225. That is the most I can get out of it. 200, 225. So yes, Jealous Devil, let's double check. 7.6, 760. Let's go back to the Fogo, 780, 790. So there you have it, the tail of the tape. Almost 450. We dropped these at 225, 224, 225. Three hours and 40 minutes in. We still have heat on the table. And two of these are burning and two of them are not. I will show you which ones right now. That's the Blues Hog. That's the Jealous Devil. That's the Humphreys. And that's the Fogo. Let's see who's still burning. Oh, Jealous Devil's starting to catch fire here. Nothing from the hump. Nothing from the Blues Hog. I feel heat coming off of there. I'm surprised that's not burning yet. And there we go. It's my paper test. Thought I'd change the game up a little bit here to kind of prove who's putting off heat still and who's not. And I'll tell you right now, <laughs> Humphreys is not. Blues Hog is out. That is clearly burning. And that is actually still hot. I'm surprised that's not catching on fire. So that'll tell you who's still burning hot. Let's give this a shot here and see what we're coming up with. Still getting a 549, 6, 612, 610. All right, so as they have fizzled out, the game has changed. Blues Hog looked like it was gonna be in for the long haul. It just kind of went out after a while. Humphreys went out first. So first place, Jealous Devil, still burning hot. Still has content that's working. Uh, second place, Fogo. A tough second place because there's still stuff there, but it's kind of going out. It's kind of fizzling out. Third place, Blues Hog. Fourth place, Humphreys. So the, the top two of these, Jealous Devil and Fogo, will be going against the winner of the next video and the winners in the first video. So there'll be two more videos coming up. Part three and then part four for the final showdown. So thanks a bunch for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. Hit the subscribe button. Which side do I put it on? I forget. And there's a video there to show you if you're on YouTube. That will show you the last charcoal test. And I'll see you next time right here on Barbecue. Oh yeah, don't forget. Join NEBS, the Northeast Barbecue Society. Especially if you live up in the Northeast, we'd love to have you. Backyard barbecuers, competition barbecuers, really a lot of the same. It's a mix of the same crowd. And you will learn a ton, make some new friends. And as soon as we get back out in the contest circuit, we will see you out there. Oh yeah, they have classes too. Lots of classes, so go onto the website and check it out. Thanks for tuning in to Barbecue. Oh yeah, there's NEBS right there. <laughs>